Britt, you feel pretty big shoes on this series. Writer and a director. You have to tell me which seat did you prefer to sit in most? I'm, I'm putting you in the hot seat. I know you are, but you're putting me in the hot seat. I wish I could choose, but you know, some days I would go home and I'd be like, I never want to direct again. I only want to act. And some days I'd go home and be like, I never want to act again. I only want to direct. And I think it's just, it's sort of about the mood you're in that day and what happens and what you feel you captured or what you feel you didn't capture. I'm always just trying to put my, push myself to be a better storyteller. And sometimes that storytelling comes through lensing something and sometimes it comes through authoring it more in the body and yeah. Sierra, what stage in your life did you come to, you know, the realization that, hey, it's meant for me to be a director. It's meant for me to be a part of, you know, the, the film in this Hollywood industry. Do you feel like this is something that you were born to do? No, I don't know if I was born to do it, but I feel like I've always loved telling stories and I was very shaped by the stories I grew up with as a kid and I felt like when I realized that was a job you could do, that you could actually be a part of that, that blew my mind and still blows my mind. So it's incredible to be here tonight celebrating all these folks who have put so much effort into trying to craft the narratives that shape us. What would you say are one or two things that every, you know, writer, every director, every actress should bring to the table and or be knowledgeable about knowledgeable about in the Hollywood industry? I mean, I think the best thing you could bring to the table is resilience in the sense that this is a tough business and it has a lot of waves and things come together, they fall apart. There's a project you were so excited to do, you loved it, and then it doesn't quite pan out, the audience doesn't connect or the inverse. I think you've got to have resilience and I think you've got to just love the process. You have to just love making the thing and be not not too worried about the results, because those change all the time. Yeah. Congratulations on everything, Bert. I'll let you get inside. Thank you.